hey guys and welcome back to my channel so if you want to see how i created these really pretty purple jumbo braids please stay tuned to the rest of the video go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit that bell Okay guys, so to create this video, you will need some rubber bands. And before I part my hair into sections, I always take my rubber bands and put them into some oil to kind of give the rubber bands a little relief. So when I put them on my hair, it doesn't pop my hair. Um, so right now guys, I'm just pretty much parting out my sections and I am doing jumbo braids so they are going to be pretty big and I am doing the rubber band method um so for my gel I am using my mean grip uh liquid ice and I love using my mean grip liquid ice because it helped slick the hair down really really good and I like it better than using the eco styling gel because with the eco styling gel it kind of makes my hair curls curl up so I used the liquid ice and it helped lay, uh, lay my hair down nice and slick Okay guys, so right now I already pretty much parted out my section and again, these are jumbo braids. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to part out a box uh, section and again, jumbo braids and I pretty much put the liquid ice all over that section and I brushed it together and I pretty much took the rubber band that I put oil on and I put the rubber band onto my hair. Now guys, you don't want to put the rubber band too, too tight because when you braid your hair, you don't want the rubber bands too tight to where it actually pull out your edges. So my rubber bands was just right this time and I am right now just repeating those steps over again and I will do that throughout the whole head. Okay guys, so right now I'm finishing up. I'm on my last two, um, but when it was all said and done, I believe I had about 24 or 25 braids, um, which was not bad. Um, and yeah, we're going to come back once I'm done these two and we're going to start braiding the hair.
okay so guys for the hair we're using this beautiful purple hair and i love how it is two-tone it goes from a light color purple to a dark color purple and all i did was took a section of the hair i pretty much took a lot of the hair um i sorry i didn't show you how much hair that i take but i just took the hair and i spread the hair out to kind of make the length of the hair a little longer and i began to put it onto the hair and braid it now it's kind of difficult for me to explain how i start braiding my hair um i just pretty much put it on there and i braid it and once i put it on to braid i pretty much take hair from each section of the braid and put it to make the third braid if that makes any sense guys um but yeah i would have to definitely one day do a a real detailed detailed video to show you guys how i braid my hair but i believe i do have one on my channel but yeah so pretty much all i do is take the hair i connect the hair and i use my original hair for the third string and i begin to to braid it and as i begin to go down you guys i begin to take hair from the other section and add it with my hair but if your hair is not as long as mine it will be difficult for you to use your own hair as your third braiding hair as you're braiding the hair down if all that made sense Okay guys, so I'm finishing up on my second section of braids, um, but I didn't mention that these braids are supposed to be like Koi Lorray um, braids. I don't know why people call them that, but I've been rocking these braids like this for years. I will wear jumbo braids and curl them at the end, but I guess somebody famous wear it and they give it a name, but whatever. So that's the style that we're pretty much doing today.
Okay guys, so now we're at the top and I believe I have about two more braids left to braid. So we're going to finish this up and um, yeah, once we're done finishing up, we're going to go in and curl the ends of it and dip it in hot water. Okay guys, so now we're done finished braiding. Um, I'm just pretty much taking all the hair and bringing it to the front so I can cut off the really scraggly ends on the end. And once I'm done cutting that, I'm gonna come back and put my ride rollers. Oh, well, right now I'm going to put some of my Infinity Growth all on my hair. And you know, you gotta keep the hair, you know, growing. You gotta keep that scalp looking good. So I'm gonna put that on my scalp. And then once I'm done that, I'll come back and put my ride rollers on the end of the hair. <laughs> Okay guys, so here is the ride rollers I'm using. I'm using the, the blue ones. It's the really small ones. So I'm just pretty much taking that and rolling up the hair. Um, and I'm taking mine one by one, but or two by two on each roller. Uh, it depends on you, um, how many you wanna put. But with these small rollers, I suggest not put more than two on the roller. <laughs> Okay guys, so right now I'm taking the liquid ice to do my baby hairs. And again, I love the liquid ice because it's really thick. And you can do your baby hairs with it. You can lay your lace. You can pretty much do anything you would do with normal gel with this uh, liquid ice. Um, but by the way guys, I'm sorry um, about the footage with me dipping my hair in hot water. I pretty much thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. So after I put the rod rollers on there, I did dip my hair in hot water and it made the the um, 
the ride rollers curl up and I removed them and that was pretty much it but yeah you guys so right now I'm just pretty much finishing up doing my baby hairs and once I'm done that we'll be all done <laughs> Okay guys, so here is the finished look of my purple jumbo braids that was inspired by Cora LeRae. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly, you know, because I had to go ask my daughter how to pronounce the girl's name. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure that you like this video and also subscribe to my channel and I will check you guys out in my next video.